you're watching us on Instagram, we're going to go live in just a few seconds here. Oh. Boy, we need to make a little more space. <laughs> Thought we just got to lose some weight. Or lose some weight, right? Yeah. Ready? Four, three, two, one, go no. live. Go live. Hit go live again. That's how we're going to go live. I don't know. Let's see how this thing works. <clears throat> you are live. Add to stream. Oh, there's John. Good mic. And add to stream. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Good. You guys, Good hear us, you guys hear us all right? Oh, yeah. Cool. Good. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, Coffee and Bullshit episode number 23. You saw the thing earlier today. Joining us is John and Mike, the owners of uh, Patriot Popcorn, one of our newest uh, partners and some new friends. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us how what you guys do and things like that. Absolutely. Um, I'm John. Um, was with the uh, National Guard Infantry uh, for a few years. Uh, before that, I uh, was prior EMS and fire. Um, worked as a public safety officer for a little bit and, uh, and uh, decided to become a popcorn master with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my name is Mike. Um, I've been in the trades my whole life. I've done everything from roofing, plumbing, uh, HVAC, electrical. Currently a uh, wholesaler for train. Um, trying to do the popcorn thing full time, you know, with my brother. But uh, yeah, a few years ago we had the idea to do this and finally put it to fruition. And you know, we're uh, took long enough. Yeah, <laughs> trying, trying to make something of it. <laughs> so what led to popcorn? Why why popcorn? Oh man! Ever since uh, since we were young, you know, we were always uh, big on a uh, popcorn family. You know, like pet kids in a candy store all the time. You know, <laughs> parents always bring you know popcorn tins in there in the holidays and what have you. So we just wanted to kind of make it better. We played around with things, you know, here and there, and then finally led up to well, let's quit talking about it. Let's actually do it. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah we we always talked about you know wanting to do you know the popcorn one that would give us a chance to. Work for ourselves, but also, you know, do something that would allow us to work with the community and help give back to charities and and do something more, you know, rather than just sitting behind a desk or, you know, fixing someone's, you know, air conditioner. <laughs> we, can, <laughs> we can actually work with, you know, guys like you and, and do something to do, you know, good for the community. So, so, so a big reason why we got into this. Cool. So are you guys making your own flavors, your own blends? Or what are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah. So every now and then, um, we get with some buddies. You know, a lot of my friends are, you know, former vets and what have you. Uh, one of them, he was a Navy corpsman. And uh, he's very big into mixing spices and cooking things. And he comes with the most random shit all the time. <laughs> and so we'll be hanging out in the shop, you know, every now and then. Uh, you know, kind of put something together. So we're working on a few with him. You know, he'll come up with some. Or my brother and I will come up with some. And we'll throw them together. And if it tastes great, you know, we'll feature it. If not, <laughs> boss it out and start <laughs> over again. <laughs> we, we, we did plenty of trial and error ourselves about a year and a half of that. Yeah. So yeah. what's turned out to be the most popular sure. flavor right now? Uh, blend 1776. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, happened to have a little whiskey in my system at the moment and uh, decided, hmm, I wonder how this would taste with some caramel and uh, some pretzels and uh, threw it in and came out uh, pretty damn perfect. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> Didn't know if it was going to go anywhere and sure enough. Uh, once we told people, oh, it's got bourbon whiskey in there, which actually uh, we use, uh, it's from 10th Mountain Whiskey and Spirits Company out of Vail, Colorado. Right. They, uh, they do a lot to help take care of the 10th Mountain Division. So we work with them. Um, and yeah, it, it just is a big hit. People hear whiskey and popcorn. Oh, hell yeah, I'll take some of that. <laughs> hey, it sounds good. Yep. Yeah, we, we make a whiskey infused coffee, a brandy infused coffee, vodka infused coffee, and they always tend to be pretty big hits and go pretty quick. Right. Well, we're become best friends because uh, <laughs> right now this little rocket man espresso thing you got going on here. <laughs> yeah, it's a bourbon infused coffee with some bourbon uh, whiskey infused popcorn. Sounds like a good combination to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Win win. We talked about doing one, uh, trying to name it after the grunts and uh, mixing some coffee grounds with some other crazy shenanigans. Maybe some, maybe some hot and spicy. Who knows? Nice. A little Tabasco and. Yeah, just a little bit of everything. Yeah. You know, just throw a whole MRE bag in there. <laughs> yeah. 
So you guys have the store, right? Yeah. And then you can yeah. buy online also? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Worldwide. So give everybody your website just so they know. So it's patriotpopcornco.com. Uh, you go on there, check out all the flavors. Um, we've got tins. Sometimes we're updating it, so we're going to possibly go from doing uh, tins to adding ammo crates or ammo cans as uh, the popcorn tins. It'll be like a new ordeal. Um, so yeah, we ship worldwide. Uh, we work with a couple organizations now that uh, ship overseas to a lot of the troops, and uh, we kind of do donations here and there with that. But yeah, if you got family or you know, buddies anywhere in the world will we'll definitely help take care of you and you can sometimes you can cover the shipping depending on, you know, the circumstances and get it out there for you. So where's your shop at in Hinkley? So uh, we went from <laughs> a little crack in the wall to uh, to a hole in the wall uh, if you're out of the house. <laughs> um, used to <laughs> used to be a beauty parlor and uh, we ended up turning it into a little, you know, productive shop and then uh, once we got through the health department, we were able to open up the door to the public. So this guy over here built the whole storefront, and you come in, and uh, it's a nice little, like, uh, what would you say, like 20 feet? Yeah, it's not very big. It's 20 by 20, maybe. We're, we're right on Oak Street, just down the street from the resource bank. We're about a block down from that. So. Hey, we started in the three-season room. Yeah. We took, over the, <laughs> we took over the three-season room of his house, and... You know, I was there at midnight roasting coffee, packing coffee, climbing over his, mm-hmm. his wife and kids, you know, waking them up in the middle of the night and waking them up early in the morning to go to shows. So, oh, so yeah. yeah. We had to start somewhere. Right? Yep, sure. yep, sacrifices. Yeah. Like, <laughs> when we first started, uh, started taking half the garage and converting it into uh, just straight, <laughs> yeah. like I said, a little crack in the wall kind of shop, you know, everything was just all online or farmer's markets and we weren't expecting to, to blow up as fast as we did, you know, because when we started, it was just before this this COVID stuff, you know, kicked off and yeah. looked at you like, shit, now what are we going to do? So we just improvised and made it work and now here we are, we're slowly getting up there. Yeah, we started a year ago, we literally bought all the equipment, took the loans, and all of a sudden, COVID, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now what do we do? This is bullshit. <laughs> you know what? They would be really good at the flea market. Oh, God, you're killing it. Kane County? Flea, Kane County Flea Market? You guys should come to the gun show, too. That's We're actually going to be contacting, um, I forget the name, whoever hosts the sportsman show there. Yeah, the King Nick. Fairgrounds and uh, see if we can be a vendor there for it. Yeah, it's cheap. It's good people. Yeah. I think it would go awesome. I yeah. think the flea, yeah. mar- the flea market, the first week in every month, would be awesome for you guys, too. Yeah, it starts in March. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 We, do, we do well there, so we have a lot of supporters. And we have a regular customer base that comes every month just to see us there. So. Yeah, especially if you could be in the in the trades building. Yeah. Yeah, because that's where most of us, and there's like four four or five of us as veterans in there. Oh, so we're all together. Yeah, we're, we're kind of, we're kind of uh, without permission, building a little veterans mall out there. All of our, yeah. all of our other veteran friends are like, come sell it to the market. Come sell it to the market. So we can have just like a row. Because everybody comes like, wait, those guys are veteran-owned too. You know, yeah, we know them. Yeah, we're, He's veteran-owned too. You know that? Yeah. We kind of all travel together, <laughs> so, but, yeah, but it's, that's actually been a really awesome connection, is we've been out there working, we know they're veteran-owned businesses, so now we're always kind of trying to help each other out, or it's like trying to know when shows are going on, any programs are available, how to get loans, how to deal with some of the business stuff, so that's been huge benefit for us, too, you know, it's making yeah. those connections out there in the world, I think it'd be a big, big benefit for you guys. Oh yeah. Uh, nowadays, you, you gotta have connections, especially with everything going on, and you know it's just we live in crazy times. So, you know, like I said, it's all about helping each other out, especially nowadays. Yep. Uh, one of our guys out there, Bobby Curtis, said he makes his popcorn using uh, his used bacon grease. Oh. I had that. It's yeah. good. Yeah, that that is good. That's how we used to do it when I was in college. That's what we do in the dorm: was make breakfast right. in the morning, and then you throw well, popcorn in. Makes everything better. Yeah. yeah. Bacon and whiskey. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, probably, it's probably horrible for you, but God damn, it tastes good. All right, well, we have Sorry. our bacon popcorn. It's maple bacon pecan, and we use real chunks of bacon in it, so. Oh. Oh. I can't wait. So I haven't even tried your, I haven't even tried your popcorn yet. And you guys, if uh, you come to our shop, we're going to have your popcorn hopefully sooner than later out here at our shop. You can come here and pick it up, too, if you want to make our way to Hyundai. Monday. Monday? Monday, he says going to come yep. by. Yeah. So. I think the biggest yeah, problem is, so. the biggest problem is to keep us from eating all the popcorn. Our all of our budgets can be spent on your popcorn. Yeah, it's a, it's a little hard to, uh, to resist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah you have a. Myself every now and then. You guys have a hot and spicy one, right? Yeah. So um, our hottest one we call Hot Shot, and Jesus Christ, this thing's ridiculous. Um, it's got Carolina Reaper in there. Nice. It's we got a little over two million two hundred thousand Scoby heat units or something <laughs> like this. Um, it's still considered the hottest pepper in the world, but there's a second one from the same guy who created uh, the Carolina Reaper. It's got one I can call Dragon's Breath or Pepper X or something like this. But, uh, yeah, so the challenge is we have a 32-ounce canister, and you eat that canister in two minutes, hold the heat for five minutes, and we've only had one guy actually able to do it, beat it in, like, minute 13 seconds. I think this is what we tried in the minute. And uh, he's, he's been the only one able to hold it down. We've had people try it and end up puking or... <laughs> yeah, no, no success with the other uh, undertakers for sure. But uh, what's cool about uh, where we're taking this challenge is uh, we dedicate it to hotshot firefighters, you know, those that are out there, uh, you know, taking care of the forests when uh, shit's hitting the fan out there out west. And uh, so it's five dollars for the canister, and what we're trying to work with is sending that money over to uh, Windsor Severance uh, Fire Rescue out in uh, was it SD Park, Colorado. Thing. So uh, that's what we're trying to do. We're uh, talking with their chief here and there, and uh, trying to get it's a little, little more set up, you know. So whether you're win or lose, either way, you know that money is going over to help those guys out. Right. Uh, if we're bigger, you know, we just don't want to do more um, to be able to help that. Same thing, you know, military, police, uh, all, all the professionals on the front line, you know, EMS, who name it. Yeah, that's awesome. It's always awesome. It's always awesome to have a bigger mission than bottom line. Yeah. Exactly. Right, it's, it's part of the you know, like I said, we talk all the time. Like, usually we don't get days off at all. We work all year long. I still work another job too at the same time. So, but it never feels like work because there's there's a passion and a mission behind it. So when you see the impact of what even our small contribution does for the charities out there and for the veterans and help our first moms, it's amazing, right? It's what make, motivates you to get up at three in the morning when you just you know got home at two in the morning from another show. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like the best part, you know, best feeling is, uh, you know, not, not even, it doesn't even feel like, you know, owning, you know, your own business and calling yourself, you know, you know like, I own my own business. It's more like, yeah, I get to wake up and, and do something good. You know, I give back to other, you know, we've done other things for everybody else. You don't really see too much of that anymore. And the companies that are slowly starting to get up, get up there and, and actually making a difference is, is awesome to be a part of. Yep. Sorry, I'm just getting ready. These people are requesting the website, so I'm posting it up here for them so they can. Uh, that's patriotpopcornco.com, right? Yeah. Just in case anybody can't spell patriot. No, it seems like few, fewer and fewer to do anything to get back, so, you know. It's, it's, it's more than part to us. More than get too political. You know? Right, yeah. You guys, you, guys, you guys just have to buy every wrong spelling of patriot you can find. So it's like www.pay. T R E E O T, some horrible spellings of it, just in case. <laughs> in case, in case there's no Google correct, they can find you guys. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Well, that was an issue we faced uh, when we first started off. You know, the whole Facebook page stuff. Um, yeah, they shut us down real quick. Within a few months, we had like things like twelve or thirteen hundred followers on our page just from you know doing the online stuff and going to these little farmers markets. Next thing you know, you know, they shut the you know, they shut the business page down on my personal page. Yep. All because, you know, the name Patriot. Yeah, and that's so, crazy. That is starting completely over and uh, and I think now we're back up to eight hundred eight hundred followers. So yeah, we got Oh you guys, oh, you guys lost everybody? Could, we got, uh, oh. we're back up to like fourteen hundred now. So yeah, we're that's slowly awesome. Slowly getting back up there and climbing. Yeah, every once in a while they put us in Facebook jail where they suspend our account for three days or four <laughs> days. And you never you never even know why. It's just who knows what it was and it's uh, yeah. half the time we try to advertise like you can't sell guns on Facebook. But like we put out a thousand ads. It says gun barrel coffee. There's no guns. Yeah, we used to have to call them constantly and be like, We're not selling guns. So I yeah. hear you. Yeah, we had no luck even calling Facebook. We're like, yeah, we don't offer phone support. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, you just have to send out the appeal. Start the whole page on the normal parlor, you know, free speech platform. I'm, you know, no social media guru guy. I'm not really a fan of it, but now they're censoring that, so you can't win the lose. Yep. Yeah. 
it might be tough over the next uh, few years here. Yeah, and then you got, um, well, John Roberts says, okay, the bourbon coffee will be ready at the end of March. And then um, Bobby Curtis has said his wife will take that challenge. Ooh, for that. Good luck. God bless you. I, I, think, I think the way to do it, Bobby, is you take that popcorn, can you put it, like, in a different tin? It's, like, like sweet, and then let her just grab a handful of it. And that's, then we're, that's we're, what we always tell people, is it'd be a good prank to give something. Oh, no. Oh, you know, they're hunched over. And they're, <laughs> <laughs> we have a family in Texas uh, that ended up buying uh, a big bag. It was an 8 by 10 bag, the hot shop, and they are going around their neighborhood. Oh, and I guess we were very, very close friends with everybody in the area, so <laughs> I guess the daughter went around and, here, try some of this, and piss some people off. It was, it was pretty comical. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Brian's Me- talking about me, me, we. Yep, we're on me, we. Yeah, we're we on have, me, we. We're going for him on there. Have you guys, have you guys checked out me, we yet? No, I have no idea what that is. I didn't either. A month or two weeks ago, but it's like, a, it's almost like Facebook, but uh, for more uh, right align stuff. So that's okay. another place you can try and go. It's building. It's a little bit more difficult, I think, to use than Facebook, but yeah. we're building. You guys can even go start your own forum on there. Because it's just early people jumping on. You can go popcorn or Patriots, whatever you want to do. So yeah, I mean, check that out. Yeah. I mean, Facebook. Get the word out there. The better. Yeah, I mean, Facebook is still a good platform to use, um, especially you know trying to get out to the masses because there's still plenty of p- people love popcorn, right? I mean, it shouldn't matter what side you're on. You can, oh, yeah. People right. should just love popcorn, but I mean, especially right. if you're going to be supporting veterans and first responders, you know. As oh, yeah. well, that's the thing. most of our companies do. Coffee, you know, people wake up, they gotta have their coffee, so right. it matter where they're <laughs> Yeah. So that's actually kind of interesting. Um, because I had a customer come in just the other day, and uh, you know, flat out told me that uh, you know they're they're liberal. Okay. You know, but we had a very you know, decent conversation, and it just went down the lines of just showing like it doesn't matter <laughs> your political beliefs, but. You're a decent person who can understand and get past all the, uh, the BS that the media you know, portrays. You know, whether you see Patriot popcorn or gum barrel coffee, you know, yeah. you're, you're going after what you like, and two, you, you're supporting a good cause. You know, people don't understand like what patriotism means anymore. It's it's not, you know, rednecks with you know twelve gauge shotguns and pitchforks. It's <laughs> taking care of your fellow American neighbor for crying out loud. You know, yeah. shoot. Your next door neighbor, you know, blows out a tire, gets stuck in the snow or something like that. It's it's taking care of them, helping them out. You know, it's yeah. funny. We just had a couple come in today. They just moved here from Virginia. He's working as a police officer out there. They came here, and they were surprised at how much people around here support the police. Yeah, I thought that's awesome. I said you're right. Most people around here, you know, are very supportive of the police, not against them. He's like, it's like man, where he came from, it was just constantly. People against the police. They're the they're the they're the criminals. They're the enemy. So yeah, I couldn't believe how much different it was here. Because like in their riots out there, though, he said there were four months where they were six months. The whole downtown was boarded up and shuttered where they were at. Like yeah. you know, couldn't go out at eight o'clock at night. Blah 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 and all that. And so when they came here. They were. It was amazing how different it is from there just to here, short ways away. But and I thought Virginia would be more hardcore conservative out there oh, than that, but. Uh, Completely the other yeah. way around. Yeah, it's definitely an uh, interesting time you know, that we're all living in nowadays. Uh, it's yeah, I, I think uh, Illinois what was it they, just a couple of days ago passed this new bill that's you know like defunding the police. I mean, that's just that's yeah. horrible. You know, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. You know, but it's it's funny because like different areas, you know, crime rates can can vary. You know, whether you're city to suburb to the outskirts suburbs to the boondocks. You know, it's yeah. just, it, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I completely agree. But with everything that's going on nowadays, you need to support those who are out there trying to make a difference and protecting their communities. It's not about taking the police away and things are just imagining going to be better. It doesn't work like that. I mean, you think about it. There's no better thing in the world than anytime you're really in trouble, you can just pick up the phone and someone's there and they're going to respond. Like, that, that, how, what an awesome service to have in your life to like hey, if shit's going down I'll get, it's a phone call away all I got down is three numbers and people are going to come who care and, and they're going to risk their own lives to come protect mine I don't have to ask them I don't have to be anybody they don't They don't care who I am I could be a criminal they're still going to jump in the way of the bullets that are coming at me to try to save 
their phone call away and they'll respond to anything. Like that's it's a crazy service to have that's available to us as people in this country. What how awesome is that to have that? How could you not support that? Oh yeah, yeah. It's just uh, it's uh, one of those things I've always said. You know, for a while, is like the the whole social engineering. It's it's one of those things that's you know whether it be movies or news. It's it's almost not our career like brainwashing, but it's putting a different perspective in people's minds that well, I need to be afraid of the police. No, it's, it's not what it's about. No. Your your next door neighbor could be an officer, and like you were know, just saying, they're out there putting their life on the line. They're they're giving their time and service to helping anybody and everybody, despite political beliefs or mm -hmm. color. You know, but that's not what it's about. As <laughs> there's so many you know police officers out there of different ethnicities and they come from not just even being born here in America but uh, coming from abroad and yeah. serving a community here people don't realize that mm -hmm. yeah, that same thing goes with firefighters too I mean, yeah absolutely they're the ones who you gotta run into the fire and go rescue somebody who's stuck in there so I mean they're risking their lives and they're time to time getting shot at too anybody who runs towards danger when everybody else is running away you know, to me, to me, that's the definition of a hero. You already volunteer that you're going to run towards the bad situation when everybody's going the opposite direction. Exactly. Right. That that's what it is. You you knowingly volunteer for that ahead of time without knowing, right? Oh, yeah. Without what, not knowing what's going to come, you're just saying, "I'm the guy. I'll go." Or "I'm the woman. I'll go." And so you don't have to. So, yeah. I'm forever grateful that there's people out there who are willing to do that and take that sacrifice and do it every day. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, it's one of the things that uh, you know definitely need more of, especially in uh, today's world, um, let alone our own nation. Uh, we definitely need more more people with uh, that same mentality being out there to help each other out. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, have you always lived in Hinkley, or just you know? No, no? We, uh, well, we lived in Galena, Illinois. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with oh, that yeah. area. Yeah, so we used to live there um, when our mom got diagnosed with cancer a few years back. Moved in with her here in uh, North Aurora. And my wife and I, we moved out to Earlville. And that's where we actually started the business was in Earlville. Um, then we came, you know, with everything going on finance-wise, we had to move downsize because we were on a little farm at five and a half acres, a little too much to take care of between that and the business. And, Right. Uh, so we moved here to Hankley. A little bit better fit. We could actually have a little walk-in shop with this house. So we started work, working on that. And we've been here since the beginning of September. Oh, okay. Nice. And, and John, what was your uh, MOS in the uh, the Army? It was uh, Rod and Charlie. Played around with uh, mortar. So that's why I got a big kick out of the uh, K cups you guys got. Twelve <laughs> the <more> rounds. Rounds. <laughs> you still got all your fingers? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Never know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and one guy uh, chased a uh, one twenty down the tube. Um, oh. Complete idiot. And, uh, <laughs> uh, he still has his hand miraculously, but uh, I think he's got uh, you know his, his hand's definitely you know, a little fucked up. It's like kind of all retarded looking <laughs> but yeah no um i specialized in 60s um we were all line company and then um we had a sister unit they were with 81s and 120s they were uh, part of hhc and then uh yeah i mean started off going down to uh fort benning that's where i went and uh, did my training and after that went to uh bravo 178 out of elgin with the national guard mm -hmm. So, with the different rounds, I mean, could you go to a 120 and use that? I mean, or... Oh, yeah. A mortar, a mortar is a mortar. A mortar. Any, any mortar metal die. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only difference is, is, uh, you know, they get, you know, we're always told, you know, 60 is like, you know, that fine one. You, mm -hmm. you, gotta, you gotta treat her real, real nice. 81, you can kind of beat it a little bit, and then that 120, you gotta, you gotta beat the shit out of it. <laughs> Oh, so just to let everybody know, this is the first time we're ever doing this remote, remotely. So yeah. it's we're wearing we're wearing the headsets because uh we couldn't pay the bills this month, so it's cold. So these are your actually earmuffs. 
No, but good. <laughs> so hopefully everybody out there can hear us, but this is the first time we did it, so these guys had to work today, so rather than drive all the way to the shop, it makes it a lot easier. So yeah, if you're out there, let us know if it's working, if you can hear us. Who knows? Yeah, nobody's, I think everybody must be hearing us. I mean, they can hear us. And, no, I know. So. It's, it's, it's weird because we're watching here. Then it's also on the side here of our um, Instagram. So it's like a minute behind. Yeah. It's, so I'm watching what I'm doing here, and also look over there, and I'm still not there yet. I don't know. It's <laughs> the magic of... Right, the delay is weird. Yeah. Well, I'll feel too bad because I'm an idiot when it comes to technology. I can't keep up with that. Thanks, Amanda. Amanda says sound and video are both good. Awesome. Yes. And she will, and if she leaves the room, one of the kids have to watch the video. Can you hear yourself? Yes, Mike, we can hear ourselves. <laughs> Mike is, uh, you'll meet him one day. He's special. Wow. Special Army. But you know, he does uh, Charlie Mike's, Mike's beef jerky. jerky. He's, he's the one who does all the ammo cans in here and the Bluetooth speaker. Out of, the, out of the ammo can. Yeah. yeah and uh, you also had on here, too, um, Bobby from Patriotic. Oh, Patriot uh, Frog. Patriot Frog. Does all. Yeah. He did this. Nice. So if you like that, all wood. Makes all the stuff in the shop. Yeah. Another good veteran owned company. Okay. Like I said, there's quite a few of us that would do, you know, the, the gun show or especially the flea market where we're just all kind of spaced out, you know, three to five meters. So in case something hits, we, some of us can survive. <laughs> so are you guys hoping to transition to make this your full-time job absolutely yeah. he already does it full-time and then i'm hopefully within the next say about a month probably the end of february i'll be uh kicking kicking over to this side full-time and doing the popcorn and awesome say yeah. bye bye to the uh the other place but a couple things have to fall in line first but yeah. you, know, you guys know how that goes so. oh yeah so, a lot of rust and so, so how how many? I mean, like, have um, have you been shipping overseas? Yeah, yeah. Have you? Um, yeah, the last one that we did, uh, I'm trying to remember, um, I think they were in the uh, southern province. Some were down, yeah, in the Hemland province. Some were down there. Uh, we got out to about it was five, almost six days, and he already had his package. So. Every now and then we try to just randomly donate out, you know, some popcorn, um, whether it be, you know, police. So we, actually one of the organizations that we work with that's pretty big is Step Up Give Back, and they help take care of a lot of police officers in Chicago. Um, they do also uh, work with the firefighters down there as well. So we've been working pretty closely with them. Um, another one's called Licking River Outfitters. It's an all-volunteer organization that helps bring in books and on day whatnot. Um, we just did a donation with them a little while ago. Uh, they bring, like I said, they bring the pets in. They you know, ask a lot of other people, you know, to kind of help bring food in and snacks, you know, licky stickies and chewies and right. just kind of give these guys a good time, you know, get their mind off things, um, especially those if you're suffering with, you know, PTFD. So they think they work a lot with them, and everything's, like I said, 100% volunteer, so that was pretty cool to be a part of. Um, but then they're an organization that, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of them, um, they just reached out, but she, I guess, uh, works with you guys, too. She reached out to us. Zoe. So, yeah. yeah, 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 Zoe. Um, so we're going to be, you know, hopping on with that, you know, so we're pretty, pretty damn proud to be, uh, you know, helping out more, you know, getting getting troops and also some snacks and what have you so like i said you know the bigger we we grow the more we're able to do um like law enforcement appreciation day you know it was just a couple days ago we went right here in the town you know stopped off at the uh municipality met with the chief and and i'm over some of the dog and studs root beer some popcorn you know just showing that people do care about their uh their fellow officers out here you know, yeah nowadays it's just it's crazy to see with everything you know these crazy bills that they're trying to pass and just making their lives miserable. It's crazy. Just crazy. Well, you know, I was just thinking to myself that we're on Instagram. They can hear us, but they can't hear what they're saying. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, is that mic on? Yeah, the mic is on, but they can't hear what they're saying, 
So they're only hearing one side of a conversation. So we have to figure that problem out. So sorry to anybody who's listening on Instagram. So, so now go to Facebook. Yes, go to Facebook. Both sides of the conversation. Yes. Someday we'll get this figured out. We've never done a. This is episode twenty-three. We still have never done this without some kind of technical difficulty that's going on. So we're we're learning as we go. So yes, we, we might be able to add something to it. Technology and I do not get along, so... Yeah. We're a bunch of old guys here trying to figure this, you know, as we go along. Yeah, he got to take his Geritol every morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, just Sal, Sal turned 52 just uh, two days ago, so for anybody out there watching... Uh, that wasn't, wasn't 52 yet. Uh, six, 62, I'm sorry, 62, I forget. In military years, it's almost 82. Good Lord, yeah. yeah. So again, nice again, my favorite thing is when we're at shows and someone comes up and is like, ask them, so you were, so you were in Nam? That's my favorite. I'm like, I'm like, yep. Yeah, and he goes with. Them. I'm like, yep. My dad was in Nam. He's like, he's like, yeah. What do you think? I'm 76 years old. I'm like, yep. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, I'm just thinking to myself that uh, people on Instagram are. Well, no on, wonder we're not getting on. I don't know if you can hear us on Instagram. They can, but they know. can't hear that. You can, if you can hear both sides, let us know. You can't hear both sides. Else. Unless you know, unless we plug something into the. Oh, that's what we could have done. We could have plugged. We need a triple, a triple, a triple splitter. splitter. I don't know. One we'll neighbor have we'll, a great we'll, podcast, we'll, and you're gonna be able to hear everybody. It's gonna be great. Right, everything will go smooth. Episode one day. fifty-seven is gonna be awesome. We're at twenty-three right now. We'll make episode fifty-seven great again. <laughs> hey, episode fifty-seven. We all just you know get around the table and have a lot of whiskey. That yeah, sounds good. Go. That's usually yeah. what we do with these podcasts. Yeah, we usually have like a shot or two. And you guys can make here. it out. We have a lot of we have a lot of bourbon here. Yeah, people keep bringing us bourbon and whiskey. Yeah. Well, we, we like bourbon, we like yeah. whiskey, so we got we got a shelf stack full of it. I was gonna say, Snell showed me uh, the little bar earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. People people are bringing us good bourbons, good whiskey. We're trying them out. We work trying to figure out different companies to work with. Cause we yeah. try to use really good stuff when we do the infused coffees, right? The better yeah. the bourbon, the better the whiskey, the better the coffee. So, hello Tina from Arkansas. You're live with Larry King. I mean, no, that's not Larry King. <laughs> There we go. John Brady wants to know. Oh, Joe's asking, when am I going to see a gun barrel caramel coffee popcorn? Let's get it going. Yeah, I, I don't know if the coffee. I've never seen coffee like flavored popcorn, but it sounds like it's you might weird. be able to make it. We have one that we call Direct Hit. It's uh, a Kona coffee caramel with white chocolate Oreo. Nice. Uh, we were actually going to work with the local uh, girl here in town that does like, a lot of specialty coffees. Mm -hmm. um, she's, she's more into like doing drinks versus yeah, right. like the beans and what have you. Um, so we were going to try and figure out a way to infuse coffee into a caramel and actually have a true coffee flavored uh, popcorn. But um, I was actually kind of like thinking, you know, taking your guys' coffee beans, grounding them up, you know, because grunts eat, you know, a lot of weird stuff all the time. So, you know, throw something in and call it, you know, we do a dark chocolate coffee or something. Oh, yeah. What if, what if we just took one of our barrels? Saturated with coffee, pack the seeds in there for three months. It's kind of like what we do at the beach. Something we can experiment with a little barrel. <laughs> Make it into what? Use what? Use coffee. So you infuse the coffee flavor into the popcorn seeds. No, that won't work with um, popcorn seeds. What? Coffee. I think popcorn seeds are not yeah, very coarse. Well, what would have to happen would be. Uh, can't touch the, the seeds with any kind of moisture. So once you open it up to the environment, the seed has to remain dry at all times. Otherwise, it come out irregular. Um, you don't want a regular seed because it just tastes like crap. But to take and infuse, you know, uh, another liquid um, into like the sugars is just by heating it up. Once it gets to like a peak temperature, almost like you know, it's like around four or five hundred degrees or so. Um, not to get all scientific on you, but basically the atoms inside the sugar split. So, like, for example, we're doing uh, the bourbon whiskey. It's the flavor of the whiskey that's left behind that infuses with those molecules after it cools. The alcohol content burns out, which is no fun. So we're going to work on that. We're figuring out we need a liquor license to do that. But, <laughs> so at, <laughs> so at, at, what temperature, at what temperature is popcorn pop? Um, so we use a mushroom seed. So, look, so if you've ever seen... Uh, the very round uh, popcorn that's exactly what we use not uh, not like the butterfly which is your typical uh, popcorn like movie theater style ordeal yeah. uh, 
So it's more like a musket ball. Right. Yeah, like a 50 caliber musket ball. Gotcha. But, oh. uh, yeah, in order to fuse the, the coffee, um, you either have to be in a liquid form going in at that high temp or the beans itself, you know, we grind it up and have to, in, you know, mix it in with, like, a chocolate or something like that. Mm. Okay. Well, there's, a, well, there's a way we can do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Get a little drunk and then we'll go play around. There we go. <laughs> that, always, that, always, that always comes up with inter- interesting things. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you add, if you add the caramel and then uh, some grounds to it, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, there, there might be a way. Do, do you guys have a uh, salt and vinegar? Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've got Parmesan garlic, sour cream, and chives. We've got I think forty-seven flavors total. Bring, bring a lot. Bring a lot of salt and vinegar to the shop so I can buy that because. Oh yeah. yeah we'll, one we'll day just, I know we're gonna bring you guys a little care package. Yeah, we'll top of, uh, of the popcorn uh, yeah, just a, a, ba- a bag of salt and vinegar chips lasts about 10 minutes at my house. <laughs> so uh, the popcorn, my family well, will love that. It's about 30 seconds. It's, it's <laughs> that good. Yeah, and you got, um, and they will be bringing tins, right? Uh, or canisters yeah, here at the shop. Yeah, 32 ounce uh, yeah. canisters. So we'll have them at the shop uh, for sale. Um, what's the price on them so people know if they want to? So the uh, cheeses are four dollars. Caramels are four fifty. Uh, caramels with nuts are five fifty. Or I'm sorry, five, and then chocolates are five fifty. Uh, uh, what size is this? Thirty-two ounce. Uh, thirty-two ounce. Probably. Uh, and thirty-two uh, ounce. I grab one from the shop. Yeah, I'll go grab one. <laughs> but so, but this is—is is it popped or it's unpopped? No, it's popped. No, it's, popped. it's already flavored, ready to go. It's. Um, but that's, that's just, so it's just that's super cheap. Bags, seven by ten bags, but that's super uh, cheap. What locks feel lives last longer. You know, yeah. When you look at this, the, the tins you can buy at Christmas time, they're like 35, 40 bucks for that tin. It's nowhere near that as much popcorn. Yeah, but those tins aren't 32 ounces. They're, they're a little bit bigger, but the, they're, they're, okay, so let's say they're twice as big. That would be 10 bucks. Well, well and they're, char- no, they're charging. Our, our tins are. They go by one gallon, two gallon, and three and a half gallon. Yeah. So our three and a half gallon is huge. Yeah, it's a big, I'm saying, a big tin. But that, look how much they charge for those tins at Christmas time. That's way more than what you guys are charged. Than what yeah, you but it's charge. not as good as popcorn. I'm saying they're charging more, and it's not as good. Right. They're charging. They're charging three times well, as much as these guys tins, are charging. Our actual tins, tins, we sell like the three and a half See? gallon. We sell for sixty. Okay. So, <laughs> so yeah, but I'm saying if you get crummy popcorn from the. From the, in the tins at Christmas time, and they're super expensive compared right. to. So, we, this is a much better price for much better popcorn. Some companies look at like popcorn, the profit margin aspect of it, and they're thinking, oh, well, we can definitely make a shitload of money and go the very cheap route, or you can, you know, do the right thing and put the damn good ingredients in there and still make okay money. That's right. That's right. Uh, so, we, so, we decided to do, we make, we decided to make really good coffee. We don't make as much margin as we could, but we'd rather make a really great product that we're passionate about mm-hmm. rather than just putting some shit in a bag and pushing it out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you guys have me addicted to coffee. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. we, I mean, we actually sold quite a bit of it um, in that short amount of time since our little grand opening that we had of actually opening the door to the public. Um, up till now, I think it got like three, four, yeah, like three or four bags left over. Um, and That's actually, cool. a couple people knew about you guys, which was really cool so they were happy that they're like oh, all right come right here and get the coffee and yep. yeah <laughs> well so that's thing is like because a lot of people drive from out by you but they're like it's a long drive and hours are tough for them so yeah you guys are a great spot what else do you guys sell in the shop other than popcorn and gun barrel coffee anything else so we've got uh, sodas we have what's called the mac funny which is a uh, pepper exler it's almost like a dr pepper or mr pib but this actually has pepper extract in it so it's not like hot or spicy but it's more of like a like refreshing mr pib nice. if you will and then we've got um, another one called cheer wine it's a very popular one especially on the east coast it's like a full-fledged cherry coke yeah i've had that i think yeah, it sounds good yeah it's yeah. it is it's pretty tasty especially you know um being like room temp these sodas actually are pretty pretty good uh without being cold uh we also have uh a Joe Team Sweet Tea, which we're both Sweet Tea fans, and uh, well, that, that, that shit's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. And then Dog and Sippers, Root Beer. 
Yeah, and a Boylan's Cola, which is uh, you know your typical Coca Cola, just not as uh, fizzy. Nice. No nice. fizzly bubbly. I need some of that cherry stuff yeah. to go with my Captain Morgan. <laughs> so I saw you brought the containers. So yeah. So yeah. this is the thirty-two ounce right here. Okay. And this happens to be the hot shot, which is just uh, ridiculous. Eat, 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 if you eat, if you eat two handfuls, everybody will buy popcorn. What's that? You gotta eat two handfuls of the hot shot right now. I mean. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> if you do that, everybody will buy popcorn. Right. <laughs> yeah. This, uh, oh man. He was. So the best part about this is like it's it's really good flavor. Um, the shitty part about it is the aftermath. You know, yeah. Destroys your mouth. Destroys your hands. That's <laughs> like Taco Bell. It's of quality. Oh yeah. It tastes good going in. Just hurts yeah. going out. Yeah. We'll we'll have. Bring us into the shop come Monday, and uh, we can all do it. How about that? There we go. Yeah, because video, you can't really see what's happening. Yeah, he, he agrees to it because yeah, he won't I be think, here. I think we should do it. I think we should all do at least two handfuls right when we bring it in. Yeah, because he won't be <laughs> here. No, we, yeah. we'll set it up as a challenge. We'll set it up as a challenge in the shop. Like, you know, you don't you donate a dollar, you get to, we'll we'll take a canister. We'll be like, donate a dollar, see if you can handle the highest popcorn out there. <laughs> and we'll yeah, donate yeah. we'll donate it we'll donate that money right to something else to one of oh, our yeah. charities. It's yeah, it, it's I, I don't even know. Or, or we could do it do it live. Just insane. <laughs> see if people would donate. Oh, Mike says it's easy, Mike. Okay. All right, Mike. A lot of people say that. And they <laughs> fail I, th I think I think you do it. I think you do a dollar for the challenge, and then if you hack, cough, or anything, then you gotta donate five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we can podcast. We'll, we'll we can film videos right in the shop. Yeah, we'll and post do them. It. Yeah, whoever, we could, whoever we, thinks they're cuffing us for this challenge, you come on out to Gun Barrel Coffee. There we go. I'll bring the hot shot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and if you survive, uh, we'll put your picture up in the shop. Well, and we'll, we'll post online that you're the, well, you're the stud who made it through. One guy. So next month is one year of us being in business, and there's only one guy. His name is John Cokey, and former Marine vet, a uh, very cool dude, and he this guy polished off the canister in a minute, 13 seconds. Didn't have anything to eat or drink in between. Oh I mean, it, you could tell he was hurting, but uh, <laughs> he did it. And then after that five minutes of holding the heat, um, you know, he was chugging, you know, some water and what have you. But uh, it's funny because his wife, the next time we met up, she's like, oh, yeah, he was uh, he was having some fun problems in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the, yeah. the next two days were not, were not easy. Oh, Matthew Lott yeah. says easy peasy. So everybody says it's easy peasy, man. Come out to the shop. Let's do the challenge. So we'll, yeah, so we'll, 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 we'll set something up. So what? So wait. So we'll post. What's what's the record for holding for like surviving? Minute, Thirteen seconds to eat. Thirty-two ounces of white cheddar-based Carolina Reaper. All right. So let's so let's do. We can do it like as a fifty-fifty. You come in. You make the challenge. You beat the time. Right. We'll we'll collect. We'll split it up. You get you get fifty. You get fifty percent of the prize pool if you can beat the time. We'll see who can beat it. And at the end, we'll we'll do it for like two months. Oh, yeah. You gotta come in. You gotta you gotta do like two or five bucks to take the challenge. We'll video we'll video we'll, we'll post everybody's name who who possibly beats. We'll post the best times up there, and anybody who beats it gets fifty percent of the pool. We'll do it as a, as a fundraiser. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And that's uh, yeah. We do the same exact thing in the shop. We have a uh, little hot shot challenge board plaque that's nice. got a giant picture on there. Um, there's quite a few empty spots. <laughs> we have, the, uh, we have a, ammo, a traveling ammo crate that goes with us everywhere, and nice. uh, you get to sign that. You get a free bag, um, whatever flavor you want, plus 50% off of your entire next order, whatever it may be. And then um, you're going to have shirts made up, so get a nice little shirt to go with it. And then plus that $5 for the canister goes, like I said, over to the, uh, the Hot Shot crew over in Taylor, uh, Colorado. Well, well, we'll have to set that same thing up here. That'd be awesome. It's a good, fun way to raise some money. I could film them. Yeah, you know what? I, I think something like that would be cool if it warms up, do it outside challenge, get a bunch of people lined up. Okay. And have, you know, I mean, you can do it in there, but like a big, like a, a big challenge. So we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll make a day hard. of it. You guys come out, like you guys come out, do a big setup. We can do a big setup. We'll have all the all our other people who sell stuff. We'll do like our own little market that day and make, make the challenge that day. Yeah, people come, really donate. Perfect. It's a good way for you guys to sell some more popcorn, raise some more donations. A good way for us to sell some coffee, raise some more donations, and people will come out and have some fun. Yeah, absolutely. And then, uh, like the old tradition with the uh, mortar section, someone's got to bring a grill so we can uh, pick up some, some damn good uh, steaks. There we go. Yeah. Uh, we can give that to Mike. 
Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It's Core Spice. Bill. Yeah, Core Spice. Yeah. Another Core veteran spice. company that makes awesome spices. Come out of a... They can do some samples and some steaks and with their spices. Yeah. Give them away. Yeah. We'll have our own day out here. They can put their A3 on hot dog. There we go. We'll have a, we'll have a big <laughs> challenge and raise money for... And raise a bunch of... Just raise a shitload of money. Yeah. I think that would be awesome. We can have all the charities we represent come out that day. They can do information about who they are, what they do. You guys have any charities you represent? Yeah. Yeah, we can. It's a good way for all of our charities to get some face time, talk about their mission, what they're doing. Yeah. All right. What yeah. the, what the plan out for yeah. the summer? I think, I think we're going to have some more dead weekends than we think because I've seen stuff already getting canceled now that is not happening until summer. I kind of I kind of like that idea. That's some place where everybody can go to. No, we're gonna do it. We're, we're gonna, you can do it the least you want. We're going to do a day here at, at, at here so we can represent all the businesses we have here, too. I don't yeah. care. We can, we can do it the Legion. It's fine. They give us the space. But yeah. want to yeah. represent all these businesses, let them know where we're at. Yeah. Find, 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 find their popcorn. Find all the other businesses we represent. Know where to come shop at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, need to, we need to generate yeah, some... We're going to be getting in touch with the village of Hinkley and see if we can get a farmer's market going here. Because they used to do one years ago, but for whatever reason, they stopped doing it. And it's like, well, why? So... We're going to try and get that going out here as well, you know, right. just to get the local businesses involved. Right. I think now's the time, too, because everybody's trying to, you know, support local and help more local out. Right. So, mm-hmm. you know, we've really, truly benefited from that. People have been awesome. People, three people came in today. They're like, you know, how'd you find out about us? They're like, well, I'm just looking for local businesses I can support on the weekend. That's what we do now is we go out and yep. work a shop. We only go local, which is awesome. Helped us survive. So <laughs> I think it's a really great time to do that. And that's the best part about it, too, is, you know, the more and more people that come and help, you know, local mom-and-pop shops or, the, you know, the small guys, you know, the, the quality is one a whole hell of a lot better because, you know, people don't skip out on, you know, what actually matters into going into ingredients and what have you. But, you know, it's, yeah, it's very easy to go down to your local you know, grocery store. You know, yeah, for example, you go and you buy Folgers and, or, or Maxwell House versus Tom Girl Coffee. Right. Yeah. Clearly, huge difference. <clears throat> anyway, pay more, but over time, the more people that start supporting local, um, prices become a lot better. <laughs> right. I look, I look at it, you can buy, you can go to the store, big grocery store, buy from a big company, and I don't know, buy buy another gallon of gas for some, you know, multi millionaire's yacht, or you can help yeah. another small company survive, help their yeah. family, and help all the charities we, we support and what you guys exactly. do. So. It goes back to that old saying, you get what you pay for. Right. Yes, that's right. true. Right. I think that guy can... Governments stop supporting corporations. That's right. <laughs> right. Well, we saw what happened with all the PPP stuff that, you know, multi-million dollar yeah. companies took took the majority of the money and small companies got screwed, so... Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's why uh, I was telling my brother, you know, when I came across you guys that uh, we were very happy because before... We were thinking about, you know, that uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company until they pulled their stunt that they did. <laughs> and uh, it's just nice to be able to you know, work with you guys who are beyond different from that. You know, they have nothing to do with, you know, the, the BS politics, you know, things. Because that's just, it's just becoming uh, like a, an annoyance big time. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. Well, it's crazy, crazy when you spend your money and you don't know where the loyalties lie, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, let's uh, start wrapping it up, or get, uh, I guess. Yeah, it's whiskey time. <laughs> there we go. Well, I guess that's all we got. Sounds like some place to go, 415. Well. Proctologist. Well. <laughs> he, he hates to be late to that appointment. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we're going to have to figure out a schedule for that, because that's going to be the next thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, uh, thank you guys for being on. Yeah, we good. appreciate what you guys are doing too. It's so awesome. And keep up the good work, guys. You know, burn some assholes because uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it happen, man. All right. I'm looking forward to getting to getting some of your popcorn here in our shop. Absolutely. All right, guys. All right, guys. Have a good one, guys. Have a good afternoon. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, everybody out there. Thanks for joining us again. We will see you uh, next Saturday, same time, same bad channel. Later. <laughs> see y'all next week. Maybe this time you'll actually hear a two-sided story instead of a one-sided story. <laughs>